Hi, I am Teacher Edgar or Pastor Edgar. My complete name is Edgar Banda and welcome to my YouTube channel or online tutorial. Today, we will start in Unit 1 and it is entitled Algebra. First, look at this shape. What is this? This is a square, right? Let's call it square A. As you can see, the side of this square is 2 cm. So each side is equivalent to 2 cm. What is it? It's perimeter. Do you remember the word perimeter from P5? What is perimeter? Perimeter is what? It is the distance distance around a shape. Or we can say the distance around the, the, the square. Okay? Or any shape. So what is the distance or the perimeter of square A? It is what? 4 times 2. What is this? Why is this 4? Because. Because square has four equal sides simply we can use the four because we have equal sides four equal sides and times two two is the length of each side so the perimeter of this square is eight centimeters next square b each side is equivalent to three centimeters so what is the perimeter of Square B, the same thing, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 4 sides times 3, or we can use also addition. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 12. The same here, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 2A. Next, square C. What is the perimeter of square C? 4 times 4. 4 sides times the length of each side. So 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Or simply add. Add the 4 sides. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 16. Is that algebra? No. Not yet. This is only arithmetic what is arithmetic working with number is arithmetic arithmetic means we only use numbers look at this 4 times 2 8 4 times 3 12 4 times 4 is 16 so that is arithmetic so what is algebra let's go to the next slide What is algebra? Again, look at the square. We have S. What is this S? S represents the side of the square. So what is the perimeter of the square? The same thing. We multiply by 4. 4 times S is 4S. Right? S is a symbol that represents the side of the square. Now, this is the meaning of algebra. In algebra, we use numbers and symbols. Remember, we have two things in algebra, number and symbols. Mm, number and symbol. In arithmetic, we have only numbers. Got it? Okay, next slide. Constants and variables. In algebra, there are constants and also there are variables. So what is a constant and what is a variable? Or what is the meaning of these two words? Constant has fixed value. It does not change. Constant has a fixed value. It does not change. What does that mean? Fixed. 
when we say fixed, it is there. We cannot change it. Example, in my body, what are the constants in my body that I cannot change? My face, yeah, that's right. My face, I cannot change my face. It is constant, it is fixed. My nose is there. I cannot change this nose to here. Or I cannot change my eyes to here. I cannot change my mouth to on my forehead. So that is constant. All right. That is a example in a literal way. Next, for example, the number eight is always eight. Number eight is always eight. Okay. So numbers are constants. Any numbers are constants. So what is variable? Variable has different values, different var values. For example, S, the side of a square, can be three centimeters, five centimeters, one meter, two meters, one kilometer, two kilometers, or any, any length or any number. Variable has different values. We can say S is a variable. Symbols are variables. The letters. The letter used to represent a variable is called a literal number. In short, variables are literal number because they represent any number, right? So that is about constants and variables. Just remember, constant has a fixed value. It doesn't change. It will stay the same forever. Eight is always eight. One is always one. Variables has different values. It can be any, any number. All right. Now, let's determine whether it is a constant or a variable. The number of days in a week, is it a constant or a variable? Remember, constant has a fixed value, doesn't change. Variable has different values. So the number of days in a week remains or stays seven forever, right? So we can call it constant. Number two, the number of days in a month. Does it change? Well, except February, right? February change every leap year. Sometimes it is 28, sometimes it is 29. So that's the only month that that is changing. But other months are constants, right? So majority are constants. Next, number three, the number of hours in a day. The number of hours in a day. How many hours in a day? Is it constant? Does it change? I think it doesn't change. It is always 20, 24 hours in one day. So it is constant. Number four, the number of months in one year. How many months in one year? There are only 12 months in one year. So does it change? Does it change sometime? Becomes 12, uh, becomes 13 or 9 or 14 or 8? No, it is 12. 12 months. Next, the amount of water you drink in one day. What do you think? In my situation or in my life, the amount of water I drink in a day is variable because I don't measure, 
and measure, measure the amount of water I drink each day. But do you think it is possible to be constant? Yes, it is possible, but I don't know if somebody can do this. If you want it to be constant, like in the hospital, in in uh, if you have a like medical situation that you need a constant amount of water to be intake to be taken each day so it can be a constant but in normal life it can be variable okay so that's about constants and variables exercise time now let's identify and list down all the constants in the following algebraic expressions. Number one, 3x minus 5 minus 9 plus 2a minus 10. Which are the constants in this expression? Hmm. Remember, what is a constant? Constants are fixed. Constants are numbers. So, where, which are the numbers here? Mm. We have 3, minus 5, minus 9, plus 2, minus 10. Those are numbers, right? So which are the constants? The answers are minus 9 and minus 10. How about 3, minus, no, minus 5, and plus 2? Are they constant? Yes, they are constant. But they have a special name. We will talk about that on our next next video all right so the answer here is r negative 9 and negative 10 number 2 by the way you will answer number 2 3 and 4 by yourself I'll, i gave you already the the answer in number 1 so in number 2 which are the constants identify them we have 8 plus 10g plus 2d plus 8a a plus 6. All right. So how many constants can you see or can identify? List down here, below here. I can see how many? 1, 2. Oh, I think we have only two constants in this expression. Number three, in number three, we have 6y minus m plus n plus 20 plus 63 plus 7. How many constants can you identify here? Hmm, I think I have, we have 1, 2, 3, I think we have 3. But I will not tell you. In number four, we have 4, we have number 4. It is A minus 2 plus B minus 3 plus C minus 8 plus D minus 9. So identify the constants. Which are the constants here? I can count 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yes, we have 4, but I will not tell you. All right? So you can write here or write on your paper or on your notebook. All right. Now let's go to the next slide. This time we will identify the variables in the same, the same, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. So variables in these expressions are x, y, and a, or a, x, and y. Because variables are, are letters, right? Or symbols. Variables are symbols. x, y, and a. So in this expression, we have three variables. One, two, three. One, two, three. x, y, and a. Number two. How many, how many variables can you see or can identify? We have one 
and two. Yes, we get two. In number three, how many variables can you identify or can see? We have one, two, three. Huh. Three also. Number four, we got one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One. Cannot see. Wait, wait. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. Yes, we have four variables in this expression. So, that's it. Today, we have learned about algebra. Algebra is what? In algebra, we use variables and numbers. Or we can say letters and numbers. When we, when we don't use numbers, I mean, when you don't use letters, it is called arithmetic, right? When we don't use letters or variables, it is called arithmetic. And what is variable? A variable is a symbol that we used in algebra. And what is a constant? A constant, a constant is a number, or constants are numbers that we never, we can never change it. We cannot change. It is fixed. All right. Thank you for listening. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And see you next time.